Jikshu, a game platform for simulate user experience. Part of the training of students is to involve them in multiple activities that generate challenging experiences with companies, organizations and society. However, the experience to attend these activities is insufficient or sometimes null and even they have the advice of professors, often the client's expectation is not fulfilled either for the quality of the product, for the time invested in the project, or for multiple modifications to the initial requirements. But, what is it that makes lack of experience a critical factor? Their capacity in the analysis stage has only been built from elements of their environment and their daily interactions with products, software, people, etc. So, their projects are limited to these events and block them from identifying factors, variables, characteristics or even people relevant to the design of their solutions. The experience acquired in a course is not comparable to that which, through multiple situations, is formed over time. So, how can students be able to modify their reasoning to develop their analytical capacity before participating in real-world projects and generating good experiences for their end-users? Jikshu is a game that simulates the evaluation of users to different products, services or systems in multiple scenarios. Students can review the grade obtained over the simulation and improve their products to obtain better scores. Users, scenarios and products use fuzzy logic functions to generate the evaluation. With the game mode, stress is reduced from the course and the interest is maintained, without consuming time from other activities and without the risk factor that is presented when working with real clients. Now, how is the analysis capacity evaluated? For this, a diagnostic test was designed with questions focused on the fact that the evaluated person not only answers, but also analyzes. The weights of each question allow us to identify the lack of skills to analyze using a classification, Group A, students that require deep work for the analysis of requirements, Group B, students who can participate in projects and Group C, students who can lead a project. When applying the diagnostic test it was observed that a large part qualified for Group A, a few for Group B but no one for Group C which ratifies the hypothesis proposed, students still do not develop their analytical skills when solving problems. After participating in the game and the students receive feedback as part of the course, an improvement in the classifications is observed, decreasing the incidence of Group A and positioning the students slightly in Groups B and C. This game is not an absolute solution to the problem and improvements are proposed that will enable new modalities and will allow obtaining new results that will contribute data to the professors to strengthen the capacities of the students.